this is the Hamsienk shunt based battery monitor. In the box, you've got your user manual, the shunt. On the website, you can buy a 350 amp monitor. They sent me a 500 amp unit, battery side, load side. The monitor, your positive wire, and this six meter long shielded wire for the monitor. Some mounting screws. I just fully charged a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's connect the monitor and do some tests. Now the idea is that this thing will monitor power going in and coming from your battery bank. And in order for it to do that correctly, you need to connect it to your negative side of the battery before your loads or charger. All the current coming coming to and going out of the battery needs to go through this shunt. We'll connect a cable coming from the negative side into the B minus the battery negative side right here and a negative wire coming from the shunt to the load. This red positive wire is connected this B plus side and will be connected to the battery positive. Then all you need to do is to hook your monitor up to the shunt with this cable. Let me do that real quick. So we got it all connected to positive, going to the shunt, your main positive to your loads, negative going through the shunt to your loads, connected to the monitor. We need to set our amp hour rating to calibrate the monitor. Battery is fully charged to 100%. Let's see what happens. Go. Hold the OK button. This will appear. Reset your alarms. If you're using lead acid, reset your alarm to about 50%. For a 100 amp hour battery, it would be 50. So I went ahead and set it up. To set it up, long press the OK button. And I set my capacity to 100 amp hours. Fully charged lithium ion phosphate battery at the resting voltage. 13.6, depleted, I set it to 12 volts, turn off the monitor at 11.8, and that's about it. And then I put a charge on to have it reach its maximum voltage and it's set to 100% automatically. You can adjust your brightness, the up or down button, like that. I connected it to a capacity tester to put a load on it to see if it accurately monitors the amps coming from the battery the amps being drawn. Set it to 10 amps. Like that. 
you got a minus 10 right there. See your wattage, voltage, your capacity remaining in percent and amp hours, and how long the monitor has been in operation. Nice. I'll let it drain down a little bit and then we will put a charge on it to see if it performs just as well. All right, so we're down to 98% after pulling a bit of power. Now let's add a charge and see if the shunt and monitor can keep up. So the charger is connected to the positive and negative. Now let's plug it in. <coughs> This is Hamsienk's 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. Did a video on that one if you want to check it out. And it's doing it. See the plus sign right there. And the arrows pointing up. So it's working. Now this could be a nice setup for your RV or camper van or cabin. Most likely you'll have your positive and negative wires connected to a positive and negative bus bar and all your loads and chargers connected to the bus bars. I'm pretty happy with this monitor. It shows you exactly what you need. There's nothing really fancy about it. But for the price, I'll say it's definitely worth it. Check out my review of the 12 volt 100 amp hour battery from Hansink right here. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Like the video if you uh, like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it and be sure to check out these two videos next because YouTube wants you to.